So the public beta of iOS 13 is finally out. How cool is this dark mode? You know what? The developer betas are now over and everybody can actually install the public beta on their phones. So I have installed iOS 13 on my secondary iPhone XR. If you're using your phone as a primary, I'd advise against it. But if you're using it as a secondary, there is an easy how to install guide in our description section. Just go and check it out. It's a very simple process in case you want to try out iOS 13 right now. And of course, check out the cool 13 tips and hidden tricks I have explained in this video. So what are we waiting for? I'm a shot from Mr. Phone. Let's get down to this video where I'm going to be talking about iOS 13 a little bit more in detail. But before we move on, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to get notified whenever Mr. Phone puts out an awesome new tech video. And the sponsors for this video are once again the awesome folks over at Squarespace. Squarespace is this incredible online product that can actually help you make websites from scratch. It's very simple to actually use even for someone like me who is not very adept at HTML coding. If you are someone like that and if you want to build a website from scratch, Squarespace can do that for you. You know what? Stay till the end of the video i'll talk a little bit more about squarespace now let's get down to the ios 13 tips and tricks all right to start off with the first tip which is probably something that people have been waiting for a long time on ios and that has to be the dark mode on ios right now it's in light mode so all you need to do is head into settings and head into the display settings of the phone and you'll see that now you have an appearance settings which can change from light to dark so basically i'll just hit dark and you'll see that the entire settings app has gone into dark and the entire system also looks dark in fact a lot of the first party apps will also have turned into a dark theme altogether in fact even the default wallpapers change to a dark mode it looks pretty cool now if you want to actually have an automatic setting for dark mode you can do that as well all you need to do is hit automatic and then you can switch between dark mode and light mode based on your custom time preferences or sunrise to sunset so let me switch that off. If you want to quickly set the dark mode, all you need to do is swipe down and bring up the control center and long press the brightness button and hit the dark mode. I think the dark mode on iOS is really nicely done and it looks extremely pretty. So the second tip that I want to talk about is the cut copy paste gesture, which is going to be liked by a, a lot of iPad users because you've got a lot of screen estate to do that. But these gestures are pretty cool and they work on the iPhone as well. All you need to do is select the text that you want to copy or cut so that's it there, there it is and then you just need to pinch it like this and there you go it's copied and then you can just if you want to paste it uh, in a at a particular location let me just hit return and voila it's as simple as that now if you want to cut it again select it and instead of a single pinch you do like a two pinch so there you go it's cut now and you can paste it wherever you want to the third tip that I'm going to be talking about in iOS 13 and which is one of the most often requested features and it's been there on Android for the longest time which is the swipe keyboard. So yeah that's cool. So now the keyboard has swipe function. That is pretty cool indeed and it works really really well. Now coming to the fourth and important feature on iOS 13, this is how to actually create your own Animoji in your profile picture. All you need to do is head into messages and hit edit name and photo. You'll see that I don't have a currently have a picture or an Animoji as my face right now. I can take a picture of myself or just create an Animoji, which is what you're going to be doing. So look at this. This is pretty cool. It's tracking my face and that's done really nicely. So let me just take a color palette of my own and that looks nice. Just set a hairstyle and you can do a lot of these cool things. Fifth feature is an extension of the fourth one where you can now add a profile photo or an animoji to your favorite contact. So let me just take out a good friend of mine, Akshay Balla, he wouldn't mind me doing this to him. So let me just do that. I'll just edit this, add a photo and you can see that I can just pick one and emoji and use that as Akshay's profile picture out. So the sixth feature is really cool where Apple has actually improved the editing suite 
of the photos app let me just take a quickly take a picture and show you guys what you can do with it now with the photo that you have taken of course you have these auto enhancements that are available now when you've done auto enhancement you'll see all the changes that has happened there's exposure control there's brilliance control there's highlight control there's shadow apple has actually dropped the highlight in this you're looking at a cleaner picture right now there's contrast there's brightness there's just a crazy set of features and there's haptic feedback when you are doing this as well so that's really cool so there you go this is very well done and you can also of course crop and straighten it and you know do a lot of other you know filters as well now apart from that there is a new feature on the newer iphones where you can take a you know selfie in high key light mono so yeah so that's one of the selfie kinds uh, one of the portrait features in the selfie mode and plus also the rear camera portrait Basically, you can also change that in the edit settings as well, which is pretty cool. All you need to do is hit the edit button and you can change the focal length out here or you can, you know, change the other features like exposure, brilliance and all of that. So it's all really cool. Very well done. But the coolest thing of all has to be that you can now edit a video. Let me just take a video of myself uh, right now. So there you go. We're shooting a video for editing on the iPhone itself. So the Photos app has a better editing feature right now. So let me just pause that. So there you go. And it also plays back the video in the thumbnail uh, setting itself. So all you need to do is hit the edit button. And you can see that apart from the fact that you can trim the video and cut the video, you can also actually give all the cool settings from the photos editing feature to actually videos as well this is very well done apple so there you go so that was the original that's that's how it looks like when you've done the editing so here's a vivid cool video of me and let me play that back for itself so the photos app has a better editing feature right now so so the next feature that I want to talk about is something that's hidden and not a lot of people know about is that in the battery settings, there is an interesting cool new feature where you can increase your battery longevity by clicking on that setting. So when you get into battery health earlier, Apple had given the option to actually check the quality or the level of your battery. It's at 100% and the peak performance capability is also very good. It's normal peak performance. But there is this new feature which gives you the optimized battery charging setting. Basically what this does is, say for example, you kept your phone for charge overnight, it won't charge to 100% immediately and then keep it on the charger, which could reduce the battery life. It'll basically trickle charge to 80% and when you get up in the morning, it'll charge the rest of the 20%. A lot of Android phones do this, now with Apple doing this as well, the battery longevity should definitely increase on your new iPhone. So now if you want to get into Jiggly mode to actually uninstall your apps, you have to long press this like this. So that's when it gets into the jiggly mode so that might be a bit cumbersome but one of the things that you couldn't do earlier is actually uninstall apps uh you had to actually get into the jiggly mode to do that now you can do that from the app store itself so now when you go into the updates page of the app store from the updates section itself in case you don't want this app actually i don't want Rivago because i've not been using it often all you need to do is slide it and hit the delete button and that will delete it one of the biggest problems that a lot of iOS users have had for a long time is the fact that they could not download any app over 200 MB over mobile data. Now with Geo and Airtel giving you so much unlimited data, I think downloading over mobile data should have been possible because you know what games like PUBG and all, you might want to download it on the go. So all you need to do is, you know, open settings, get into iTunes and app stores. And if you hit app downloads, it gives you the option to always allow if you want to download over 200 MB files. The one thing that has always been irritating on iOS and that has changed with iOS 13 is that you couldn't earlier long press the Wi-Fi icon from the control center to actually show you what Wi-Fi networks are available. That was just crazy. And now you can do that. How awesome is that? You can in fact do this with Bluetooth as well. So yes, that's pretty cool. The one thing that has again been an irritant for a lot of iOS users and that has been fixed in iOS 13 is deleting messages. Not that you couldn't do it, but it was a very convoluted process. Now it's easier to do. All you need to do is hit this three dot button uh, and select messages. Now, once you've done that, you can select individual messages or you can just long press and select multiple messages like this and just delete them at 
one go. So the next feature that I'm gonna be talking about is in a different setting, of course, but it is the coolest one. The last two features that I have kept, which are gonna be really cool for everybody to see, is the fact that iOS 13 now supports DualShock 4 and Xbox controllers as well. All you need to do is get into pairing mode for DualShock 4. You have to hit the PlayStation button and the share button together so you can see the blinking light and you'll see that it shows up in devices out here. So now we have shared the DualShock 4 wireless controller and I'll quickly show you the games that we can play on this. It looks really cool and it's really fast. So now coming to the final 13th tip and hidden trick is the fact that there is a weird convoluted way in which you can actually connect a Bluetooth mouse to an iPhone or an iPad. All you need to do is put your Bluetooth mouse in Bluetooth pairing mode and get it connected to your phone. So basically there you go. So that's paired. And then after that, you need to head into accessibility settings and you'll see touch. And from there, you can see that assistive touch is off. You'll need to put that on. And then there you go. That's all you need to do. Your Bluetooth mouse is on. In fact, you can even scroll through very easily with the mouse itself. All right, those were the tips and tricks of iOS 13. But first, let me talk a little bit about Squarespace and what Squarespace can do for you guys. Squarespace is this really cool product where you can actually create your website from scratch. You know what, I've tried it out. There are a lot of cool minimal themes out there. If you are someone who wants to make like an e-commerce website from scratch, Squarespace even has that for you. In fact, they also have this award-winning 24 by seven customer service for you guys. I really think Squarespace is a really cool product product and you must check that out and in case you have actually tried it and you are running through the trial period and you liked using Squarespace then you can get a special 10% discount because you are a Mr. Phone user. So all you need to do is head to the link that is shown on the screen right now and put the code Mr. Phone. So that's simple. Get 10% off, use Squarespace and make awesome websites. You don't even need to do HTML for it. So now coming back to iOS 13 tips and tricks, I hope you guys liked it. It was a lot of fun actually shooting this video. And I think that a lot of users who are using the iPhone will appreciate all the cool hidden tips and tricks that we have for you. In case you have cool hidden tips and tricks, do let us know in the comment section below. Until next time, this is Ashad from Mr. Phone signing off. Goodbye and Godspeed my friends.